Today I just felt like sitting down and talking shit, <laughs> like literally. So you know what? That's what we're gonna do. So I've got my coffee, I've got my makeup here, and I thought that we would do a chit chat, get ready with me. I have not done one of these since my last YouTube channel and we don't talk about her, literally ever. I've literally not done one of these videos in years and years and years, which is crazy because I used to do them all the time. So I'm really excited to just sit down and chat with you guys and do my makeup. I do do the same thing pretty regularly over on my TikTok live. So if you're not following me on TikTok, definitely make sure that you do. So with all that being said, if you do like this more chilled, laid back style of video, then definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in a comment down below. I reply to every single comment and I love chatting with you guys down there. It really does help the growth of my channel. So even if you leave any comment, I appreciate it so, so much. Also, if you're not subscribed to my channel already, definitely make sure that you do that. We are getting so close to 500 subscribers, which I'm so excited about. We've been growing so fast lately and it just, it makes me so incredibly happy. So thank you guys so much. So with all that being said, let's fix this situation because I literally haven't even done my hair. Like I washed it, it's air dried, it's puffy, suits me quite well. <laughs> Let's get started. All right, so first things first, we need to put this hair up. I am getting my hair done on Friday, which I am so beyond excited about. I normally like to get my hair done every six months or so, or just kind of whenever I can afford it. And because of isolation and our good old friend Rona, I haven't been able to get it done in probably like eight to 10 months. It is very overdue and I am so beyond excited to see my hairdresser on Friday. You know when you just have like a really good relationship with beauty people? I love my beauty people that I go and see and I just feel like we're really good friends. She probably doesn't think that but that's okay. Make sure that you're following me on Instagram and TikTok and stuff like that because I don't really know what I'm getting done. I'm going to begin by priming my face using the Benefit Professional. This stuff is literally amazing. I love silicone based primers that you can tell fill in your pores if you know what I mean. So I'm just going to go ahead and place this on all of the parts all over my face where I get the largest pores. Literally all over my nose and like my cheeks, just underneath my eyes, as well as my chin as well. Oh man, I wish that I could <laughs> talk shit like I did in these videos on my old channel, but I'm just like, I'm not that person anymore. <laughs> For those of you who didn't know, I had a different YouTube channel before I had this one and I didn't really filter myself. I didn't really have a private life. I just like, I don't know. I kind of, I used YouTube and filming as a way to vent. Like my camera was my psychologist. And if you do social media or literally post anything on the internet, you know that that is not healthy for you or anyone in your life, even though it was a really good way to vent and get things like out of my system, it just, you've, you've got to draw a line. And here's the line, we're drawing it. So, <laughs> oh, I don't know, man. Let me know in a comment down below what's going on in your life. Let me know how you've been since everything has been starting to reopen. Are you back at work? For me, I did get laid off my job and as you guys know, I was just working on my social media and YouTube for the whole time that I wasn't working and I literally loved it, which I always feel so bad about saying. I felt like mentally, physically, like in terms of every single aspect of my life, I needed a break and I needed to slow down. So I'm extremely grateful that I could still afford to live in my house and not go to work for the two or three months that everyone had to stay home. I don't know, I just feel so much more refreshed after time to just do literally nothing. I think it was all definitely a massive reminder that life can get so busy and so fast and I feel like society in a way kind of pressures you into thinking that you have to use every single second of every single day to better yourself, better your body, better your mind, keep on top of your business and always be striving to be better which obviously are amazing things but 
I don't know, I feel like the whole coronavirus thing kind of just like taught me anyway that like it's okay to just like chill out and slow down. I feel like I'm very much not the type of person to take time for myself to do just nothing at all. I tend to get very like guilty feeling if I just sit down and watch a movie or enjoy a show. I feel like I could be using my time to be more productive and I don't know, I feel like coronavirus and all of that stuff just taught me like it's okay and your body needs to just chill out sometimes. Obviously, it wasn't all happy days and I had extremely stressful days when I thought I wasn't going to be able to pay my rent, I wasn't gonna be able to pay bills. I was extremely stressed because I do live alone. I don't have anyone you know, that helps me pay for my life. So I'm definitely not taking that aspect away from it, but I just kind of took the whole thing and tried to look at the positives. I'm using a mixture of two different foundations just cause one's too light and one's too dark. So I normally just mix them together. One is the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Stay Fabulous, which is the darker shade, but it's the formula that I like better. And I just mix it with the CoverGirl True Blend, which is too light for me and I don't like the formula. So I'm getting my hair done on Friday and then I'm coming home I have a house inspection and then Sam is coming over and I'm taking her on a little day I'm literally so excited because since everything has reopened I haven't really like been out and done things like going to the movies or going ice skating or bowling like I just still haven't done any of like that nice stuff so I'm really excited I'm taking her out for like a little date night I have booked for us to go and have dinner at this like arcade place near where I live and play a few rounds of bowling which I'm really excited about. I'm kind of nervous about bowling and the whole coronavirus thing like you gotta put your fingers in the in the bowling balls where other people have had their fingers <laughs> but if they weren't allowed to be open and if it wasn't safe to be open they wouldn't be so I'm just trying to keep that in the back of my head because I can get very anxious and overthink to the max. So next for my makeup, I'm just going to highlight using my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade 125 Fair. And I'm just going to place this underneath my eyes. I've seen people do like this little wing thing. So I'm going to try that today. I've never done it before, so we'll see how, how it <laughs> turns out. Down my nose, on my chin, Cupid's bow and forehead. What was I saying? Oh yeah, bowling. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like bowling wouldn't be open if it wasn't safe. So I'm excited. I'm just trying to like put all of the negative thoughts to the back of my head. So next I'm just going to set my face using my NYX translucent powder. I don't normally use translucent powder for setting my foundation. I actually really don't like it at all. Nothing against this powder. I'm sure this powder is great. I just like the extra coverage that like pressed powders give, but I just ran out of my usual pressed powder. I actually have to go and get some from the store today. So after that, I'm just going to go in with my e.l.f. pressed powder. This one's in the shade Buff, and I've been doing this ever since I had to start using that translucent powder, just to add a little bit more coverage. And I just use this on my face brush, and I just go in, grab a little bit, and I just put it where I would normally bronze and contour. It just makes me feel like I've got a bit more coverage on my base. Next up, I'm going to take a little bit of my Hoola Bronzer by Benefit and I'm just going to use this to bronze up my skin a little bit. And I'm just going to go in and slightly bronze I say that, but we all know that my bronzer is just always over the top. <laughs> After that, I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. bronzer and blush duo in the shade St. Lucia. As you can see, I definitely need a new one on the Acer. But what I'm just doing with this is picking it up on the same brush that I used for my bronzer just because I feel like it helps everything blend together really nicely and it's not like a stripe of bronze, a stripe of pink, and then a stripe of highlight. And I just place it on the apples of my cheeks, blending it backwards. And then I also put like a little bit on my nose, on my chin and on my forehead. I would definitely recommend. I love this blush so much. So next, I'm going in with my highlighter. This one is MAC Soft and Gentle, and as you can see, I have literally used almost this whole entire thing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use my Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush. I think this one's the F35, maybe. F35. 
Yeah, it's the F35. Wow, I remember that. <laughs> I also don't normally wear any eyeshadow, so I just go in with my finger and I just put a little bit of highlighter on my inner corner just to like add something around my eyes, you know? So I'm just going to quickly jump onto Instagram because I asked on Instagram the other day if anyone had any questions. So one question that I did get was, what's your dream job? So my dream job is YouTube and social media. Getting to work for myself from home, being your own boss and creating your own hours is something that I have dreamt of my whole entire life. And it just so happens that YouTube and creating something that I love with all of my heart can potentially be a job where you can do that, like be your own boss, make your own hours, work from home. I just love being a boss bitch who, I don't know, like runs her own life, makes her own bunny. I've just always loved that mindset and that way of life. I just think that it's so like interesting to me. And film and photography and editing, computers, technology, like every single thing that YouTube and content creating is, is every single thing that I enjoy. So yeah, this would be my dream job. And I genuinely don't think that I will stop until it is my job. <laughs> I don't know, that was kind of like a little bit of a ramble but I'm just like so passionate about this and I always have been and I feel like I always will be all right so I'm just going to go ahead and start to fill in my eyebrows using my essence dip brow this is in the shade number one brown and I'm pretty sure this is literally like four dollars it's the cheapest thing ever and it's literally so good so second question out of that one comment is what would you like to get out of youtubing slash blogging oh my god there's literally so many things <laughs> so the main thing that i want to get out of like this whole thing is creating a space where others don't feel alone that is so incredibly important to me i came across youtube when i was really young when i was in high school and i was going through so much i was struggling with my identity as you do going through high school i didn't have a lot of friends in high school either i actually got bullied quite a lot i just found youtube to be this safe space where people who were different came together and created a community and i just want my platform and my channel and any of my social medias to be that safe space for anyone out there who also feels alone and like they don't really have very many friends or family or people in their life that understand them so I guess that's kind of like the main thing that I want to get out of this in terms of like my channel and like the purpose of my social media but I also want to get a full-time job out of this if we're talking a bit more selfishly <laughs> like I said before this is my dream job and quarantine actually gave me a sense of what this would be like to do full-time I obviously had never done this and only this full-time so quarantine really helped me to be able to understand and learn whether I could be my own boss 24 7 whether I would actually wake up every single morning and feel productive and motivated to get shit done and it's crazy because during quarantine I think I was my most productive self that I have ever been in my whole entire life I would literally wake up every single day and work for eight to ten hours straight I just like lived and breathed making content and I enjoyed literally every single second of it like I said in the beginning something that I really really needed for my mental health and I also feel like I proved not only to myself but like to whoever is like up there controlling our lives <laughs> that like I can do this those are a couple of things that I want to get out of my channel but mainly just like helping people and creating a sense of community where other people like don't have one so next I'm going to set my eyebrows using the L'Oreal Paris brow artist genius kit and I'm just going to use the same brush to press it over my eyebrows just to set that cream product into place next I'm gonna go in with my essence clear lash and brow gel and I'm just gonna set my eyebrows in place with this this product is by far the best brow mascara that you will ever use in your whole entire life 
period. <laughs> I'm just gonna brush through my eyebrows, make sure they're all nice and super glued in place. So after that is lashes. I have slowly become addicted to wearing fake eyelashes. I normally just get all of my eyelashes from eBay or AliExpress. They're amazing, I love them a lot. So now what I'm quickly going to do is use my CoverGirl eyeliner just to draw a line on my inner corner from where my fake eyelashes end. This kind of helps to make the fake eyelash not seem as fake. <laughs> so the very last step is lips. My typical go-to is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Los Angeles. I've used up this whole entire sample size, which is rare for me, because I don't always wear lip products, but I'm literally like scraping the edges of this. It's just like the perfect nudie brown. I'm obsessed with cool tone nudes and browns. I normally would try and overline my lips a little bit more than this, but I'm I'm just trying to work with what I've got. So I just quickly went ahead and straightened my hair. It's not like the best, but that's that's okay. <laughs> so with all that being said, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know whether this type of video is one that you enjoyed. Also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, definitely make sure that you do that right down below as well. I love you all so much and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye. <laughs>